Calculating the pH at the equivalence point when acid moles equal base moles. We'll consider benzoic acid, I'll write as HA. It's a weak acid with a strong base of sodium hydroxide. I'll eliminate the spectator and just simply show OH negative. What I see forming here is a neutral water and the conjugate base called benzoate, A negative. Now at the equivalence point, the number of moles equal for acid and base means there is no limiting and no excess reagent. Therefore, the only thing affecting the pH is the hydrolysis of the conjugate base coming from the benzoate ion. We'll need to determine the number of moles produced divided by the combined volume. Let's begin by keeping track of what we know. We have 40 mils of the acid in its concentration O25 molar. Let me hit molarity times liter to find its number of moles. 0 0.04 times 0 0.025, I'm finding 0 0.001 mole. We also see the concentration of the base to be 0 0.05 big M, molarity. And what we also know is the number of moles, 0 0.001 moles, the very definition of the equivalence point, acid moles equal base moles. What we have to determine is the amount of base it took to reach that equivalence point. So since the moles are equal, it can simply be an MV equal MV. The molarity and volume of acid equal the molarity and volume of base that's only true at the equivalence point. So what we find is the molarity and volume set equal to molarity and volume. We can pull out the missing volume of our base. 40 times 0 0.025 equals, and then we'll divide by 0 0.05. So we added 20 milliliters of the base. The number of moles Equal, equally consumed means afterwards there's no excess amounts of acid, there's no excess amounts of base. The only thing affecting it, the pH that is, is the hydrolysis of the negative benzoate ion. So if the limiting and excess reagent doesn't play a role, it turns into a hydrolysis problem. We produce 0 0.001 moles of this conjugate base, A negative, has the name of benzoate, in a new combined volume of 60 milliliters, or O6 liters. When we hit 0 0.001 mole divided by the O6 liters, we find the molarity of 0167. So if I consider the hydrolysis of benzoate, where benzoate is coming from sodium benzoate. Sodium benzoate is the salt. We eliminated the specter, spectator and are simply showing A negative. It pulls a proton off of water to form benzoic acid again, leaving a base ion in solution. When we are done calculating, we better have a base pH. We've determined the initial concentration of this to be 0167 molarity units. What we also need to find is a Kb value for benzoate. And remember up above, we were given Ka for benzoic acid. We'll just simply convert Ka into Kb. So we'll start by saying 1 times 10 to the negative 14th, there's the Kw, set over the Ka for benzoic acid. Kw over Ka is the Kb we need for this hydrolysis. That'll be x squared over 0 0.0167 molarity units. When we find x, it will represent the hydroxide ions in solution. We find Kb by taking Kw over Ka set equal to x squared over the value of 0167. Let's hit for the value of x, knowing that that's a base ion. 1e negative 14 divided by 6.3e negative 5. And my Kb value now, 1.59 times 10 to the negative 10th. Cross multiply with 0 0.0167 molar, and that's x squared. 
So I take the square root and we find the value of x to be 1.63 times 10 to the negative sixth molarity units. From there, we can find pH. 14 minus the negative log of our hydroxide and our pH comes out to be 8.21 pH units. We're at the equivalence point, equal amounts of acid and base are consumed. The only thing affecting the pH is the hydrolysis of the negative ion.